Hey, hey, save my coin budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha and in today's video, we are going to do my budget recap for my first paycheck for the month of September. And we are going to do a cash stuffing for my cash envelopes for my daily expenses. So if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffing, sinking funds, single mother finances on a low income, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you do not miss the time when I post this is your first time seeing my video. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. If you're a returning subscriber and oldie but goodie, hey, hey, thank you so much for coming on back. All right, guys, so we're just going to go and do a drive by on how this paycheck actually went. So remember, this is my first paycheck that I received on September 1st. I do have three paychecks this month. So it is a magic month. So we're just going to go ahead and see how it went. So we budgeted out $1,300. We brought home $1,384. So that's an increase of $84. So I'm super excited. So my ties, we have budgeted to be $130. It was $138. Um, paid my HOA, which was $75. We put $500 towards my, I'm sorry, $480 towards my mortgage. And then we have AT&T internet. We put budget 10, we paid 10. For my Hulu and Spotify, we budgeted 10 as well, and we paid 10. For my cash envelopes, we budgeted it to be $175. And that is how much you're going to be cash stuffing today $175 we did have remaining $4 uh, that was left over so that $4 I did just put into my buffer for my checking account so I am trying to build a buffer as well as put money into my bills binder um, so with that being said as much as I can put into my buffer for my checking account I would like to increase it um, so it does it allows for me to be able to just have a little bit of a cushion just in case a bill comes in higher than expected and I don't have enough to cover it in my budget. So when it comes to my debt obligations for my Ulta credit card, um, I did go ahead and make a payment for $50 for my credit one. We did not um, use my card, but I did just put the $28 um, in. So now I have a credit um, on my um credit one so i have a credit now of 28 dollars uh, i don't know when i'm going to use a card i don't really use it i just like to make very small purchases just to keep it active and for target we did go ahead and pay off that balance of 60 dollars. so now it's back down to zero and for my walmart card i just paid off my gas that i made the payment for so that was 50 so all those credit cards are now at zero and for our sinking funds, our savings challenges, and our emergency fund, we're gonna put $112 into sinking funds. We're gonna put $100 into uh, savings challenges and $100 into my emergency fund. So we brought in $1,384. We're putting $312 into our savings plan. So that means all of our expenses was $1,072. So I am excited. Um, we did go ahead and get our cash from the bank guys for some reason. I totally forgot the cash teller slip um, That is here. So I totally forgot so homegirl just did her best and She just wrote it on a backup piece of paper that I don't even know what it's from But we're gonna go ahead and count up our money and get to cash stuffing All right guys, so we went ahead and we counted up our money so we have a full tray and I'm a lefty, so I'm actually going to move this because I feel like it is so weird and out of where it usually is. Oh, so there we go. There we go. All right. So we are going to be stuffing my cash binder. So this is my for my daily expenses. We're going to be cash stuffing $175. So I am going to try and keep a tally as we go. Um, you know, that doesn't always work for your home girl, but I'm going to do my best. Okay guys these envelopes need to be redone relaminated I, I just need to do it but i have not found time yet but so just bear with your girl okay so for my personal um expenses i'm going to give myself ten dollars i don't have anything that i need to buy and if i do need to buy something i'm that's like detrimental i will figure out where it's going to come from whether i'm putting it on a credit card or taking it out of my cash envelope or whatever it is but I don't have anything that I need to buy um yeah so we'll see we'll see if maybe we can maybe do a challenge of not buying anything and maybe we can save it for something big 
but we'll see. Um, for my daughter, she's going to be getting $5. She doesn't have anything that she needs either. Um, I did buy her picture day outfit, so a portion of that did come out of the money that I was going to put towards cash um, stuffing. If you guys saw in my budget with me for my monthly budget um i did let you guys know that she did have picture day coming up so i did take 75 dollars of what i would have cash stuff to put towards buying her outfit her shoes you know all of the things that she's going to need for her picture day that was a personal choice of mine don't come for me and that's just what i want to do with my baby um, for blessings, this is to give to others that are in need or if there's a special offering that's asked at church or something, I'm going to be putting $5 into that. One, two, three, four, five. But guys, let me know. Do you have a blessings envelope or an offering envelope? Or let me know, like, what do you, what do, you do for giving to others if you have the ability to give to others? Let me know. What do you do? All right. So we have $5 going into blessings. Let me know how was your labor, uh, yeah, your labor day. Did you do anything? Did you barbecue? Did you just enjoy the day off? Did you have to work? Let me know how your day was, okay? Next is going to be coffee, and I'm going to be putting $20 into coffee. I am a Dunkin' girl. Um, I actually was drinking Dunkin' right before um, I got on this I got on here to record and Duncan is like my my IV. Next is going to be uh, eating out and eating out is going to be getting $25. It is just me and my daughter and I'm trying to not eat out. That's why I'm giving myself such a limited amount of monies because I don't want to eat out. Next is household, and household is going to be getting $20. And y'all, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might have missed an envelope. So give me one second. Let me just redo this. Okay, so I'm back. Um, yeah, I did miss some money somewhere. So next is groceries. Um, and I'm not going to lie, y'all. Eating out has just had me in a clutch, and I need to start buying more groceries um and cooking at home to save some money so i did increase my cash envelope budget to uh, put a little bit more money into my uh, groceries category um so i am going to be putting 50 dollars into my groceries um actually let's see what else do i have back here um i think i'm going to increase that i think i'm going to do 70 dollars all right, so I'm going to do seven, 70. All right, I'm going to do $70 into my grocery budget, and I'm going to see how this goes. And if I need to increase it from there, then I will do so. But I have lots of food that is um, in my deep freezer. Um, so lots of chicken. We love chicken. Lots of um, ground turkey and things like that. So the things that I'll have to get is like fresh fruit, milk, cereal, bread, the things that like expire in a uh, fast time uh, when it comes to like meats I'm gonna have to and oh I'm gonna have to get eggs for um, breakfast as well as bacon um, so those are things that I'm really going to have to get and all these is going to be a um, thing for your homegirl so shameless plug <laughs> um, maybe I'll take you guys along the trip with me and we'll see how that grocery budget goes this one is for my receipts and then next is miscellaneous and then for miscellaneous we are going to be putting twenty dollars in here so this is just in case i go over budget in one of my categories and i just need to pull some extra money out of somewhere that's going to be my miscellaneous categories so we have went ahead and cashed up all of my expenses uh for my cash envelopes and these are my daily categories for me to budget and now that i'm thinking about this y'all i don't have a gas envelope so i'm going to be using this miscellaneous for my gas because i guess i never made one so my gas for my vehicle is where this is going to come out of so we are all cash stuff questions leave them in the comment section down below i hope that you have a wonderful desk wonderful day be blessed bye